Well, for many of us, that first taste of morning cafe kickstarts our day. But for hundreds of local commuters, time is an issue, and many just can't spare the minutes to brew their own coffee at home. Instead, these commuters are taking a different approach. As the sun rises, the Java brews. But this is no ordinary coffee shop. No, this one caters to a different kind of crowd, and it takes a special kind of worker to handle the morning brush. Here, workers like 20-year-old Jorge Alberto make car calls, taking coffee orders. Okay. Then somehow track down the customer again, among the rows and rows of cars heading to the U.S., in line at the world's busiest port of entry. Sí, uno diez. Dos pasteles. Con chocolate, limón, este manzana. De manzana. De manzana, algo más. No, nada más. Okay. Y dame un pastel de manzana. Pastel de manzana. So how do you find the cars? Lo ubico por decir en qué línea va, o sea, qué número de línea va y qué carro lleva enfrente y qué carro lleva atrás. Every once in a while, Jorge Alberto has to think on his feet in English. Small, medium, large? Small, medium, large. One dollar, two dollars? One dollar, two dollar, two twenty, two sixteen, three, three fifteen. So you know the important words. Entiendes las palabras importantes. Ah, sí. O sea, lo básico. Back inside the store, workers there hustle too to keep up with the nonstop flow of orders. And if it looks like another coffee chain you've seen on the other side of the border. Starbucks? It looks like a yeah, Starbucks. Yeah, it does. I thought this was Starbucks. We're walking past, I'm like, three other places in have coffee. I'm like, let's get some coffee. Owner Gonzalo Anel Contreras insists the concept of de volada is completely different. The S word. I swear. <laughs> but it's not. It's not. De volada is Spanish for on the go. This particular store along the pedestrian walkway has only been open for about six months. And the cappuccino, latte, uh, frappuccinos, I mean, the price is... It's about the same everywhere. Uh, yeah. Busy as it is, this store is not the first to open in Tijuana. This one is. It opened about two years ago in Playas, a wealthy neighborhood about 10 miles south from the border crossing. Different location, different owner, but the same menu and the same de volada concept. Owner Jose Padilla knows many of the customers by name, and that, he says, makes a difference. That's basically the Mexican way, you know, public relations, personal touch, and that's what we've been doing. Okay, gracias. Bye. Our original idea was basically coffee on the go. But we see the needs of people which wants to spend a little bit of time enjoying their coffee, sitting down, relaxing. And that is the reason we're trying to grow and expand. With De Volada's expansion comes popularity. Right now, there are some 14 franchises scattered throughout the city. But even that still leaves room for outside competition. We've heard that maybe possibility of having the S people coming over here to Mexico. That is correct. Is but that a good thing for you or a bad thing? Well, that would be good so that way they know that we have the same things they do have up there in a better scale. You know, better quality, service, and personal attention to them. Well, since we covered this story, owner Jose Padilla switched the name of his franchise. He now operates five coffee shops in Tijuana called El Caliente. Three more are opening in the coming year. Both Padilla and the other franchise owner in our story, by the way, live in San Diego and commute across the border every day. And yes, both admit they were Starbucks coffee drinkers before.